go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ. Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grind Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 49, and this is war number six, I believe. Let me just make sure uh, that is correct. Yes, this is war number six. And we're going up against an alliance called Legends of Marvel. All right. Now, we've been on a losing streak. We've lost tiers. Um, you can see we're in tier four. We'll see. We'll see how this uh, season uh, ends. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's see. Who did they ban? Okay. Domino, uh, Wiccan, and Havoc. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Let us uh, see what they got planned for us. Oh, hey, haven't seen him on there for a while. Okay, so uh, we've got Atuma on this first node. He doesn't really benefit from the node, but he's just annoying. So I'll probably bring in Shuri for him. And we've got Viv Vision. So Corvus is coming back to war. Absolutely. All right. And then we've got um, Hulkling. Definitely going to do that. And let's see. For Void, he doesn't benefit from that node. Um, I, can, I can use Corvus on him as well. I could also use um, Hulkling. Hulkling is immune at least to poison. So that shouldn't be uh, terrible. He's not the menace as he, that he used to be. All right. Uh, let's see. So we got Mangog over here, huh? So... I could, yeah, I can take him with, um, with Corvus. I could take him with Hulkling. So I'll probably, uh, volunteer for that. Yeah, Corvus and Hulkling. I don't think I would use, um, Shuri for that one. And let's see who else we got here. All right. Um, yeah, we could possibly do that. Her glancing is annoying, though. For sure. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably volunteer for that Mangog put on a invulnerability boost in case he likes to go to special three or something and just take him out. That shouldn't be too bad. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, we going in with Magneto, Shuri, and my boy Corvus. So this time I have learned how to play Shuri against Atuma. If you saw the last time I faced him with Shuri, didn't go so well. And I was wondering, well, what's going on? Why is he unstoppable? And I learned that her shocks reduce his hydration charges. You don't want him to get to, I believe it's 19, because that's when he will go unstoppable. So you're kind of playing around, you know, with that because you also have to build up 
Shuri's charges so that you can shock him. Because if she doesn't have any charges, she can't shock him. Okay? So this time, as you see, I'm blocking a lot because I'm getting those charges. See, I got four of them. Now I'm reducing his hydration. See, he has no hydration right now. He can't go unstoppable. But now I have no charges. Okay, I just got one. But you'll notice that my charges go away. I have to build these up. All right, he has eight hydration charges right now. Okay, so I'm letting him hit into my block. Now I'm hitting him. Look at his hydration charges going down. Okay, that's what you have to do. And I wasn't doing that before. So I have no charges right now, but neither does he. So we're good. But I'm taking a lot of blocked hits so I can build those charges up. All right, I got eight. I'm hitting him. We're good now. See, he's got eight hydration charges. But, boom, boom, taking him down. And that's how you do it. Most of the damage that I was taking was from my own um, masteries. Because I run the ouchy masteries and she's not really uh, friendly to the uh, ouchy masteries. You can see here, see the breakdown? All right. Now, this next fight, I have to warn you guys. If you have a weak stomach, you may not want to watch this. It's very disturbing. Now, if you're strong enough, don't blink. Watch this fight. Eyes wide open, all right? We parried, and then we are done. Did you blink? If you blinked, you might want to rewind it and go back and look and see what Corvus did in three seconds. Three seconds. That is the fastest I have ever done an Alliance War fight. Three seconds. That beats my record. You know, Gallon, you know, he was fast and everything, but he wasn't three seconds fast. Yeah, I am loving this Corvus. Now, with this one, I didn't want to use Corvus against um future ant-man because i'm trying to remember but if it's an armor break i think he may still get his armors and i did not want that and i already knew that magneto could take him down okay so why not just do it safe we've done this fight many times with magneto so let's just continue doing that but that Corvus fight, man, that was ugly. That was just ugly. I absolutely love my rank three Corvus. It was well worth all the units that I spent. I spent, what, 17,400 units? Well worth it. I'm also using Corvus in uh, Battlegrounds. He tearing up there. One time... I put him on defense, and he got me that win, that match. Corvus nasty. Corvus is nasty. All right. So we took down uh, Future Ant-Man. Not a problem. Now, this one here. Anytime I run the ouchy masteries, I have to be wary of Void if I'm going in with someone who is not immune to to both bleed and poison. If they're immune to one or the other, it can be okay. But what I'm hoping for here is just to get them down fast. So you see, I'm just doing full <laughs> five hit combos, just getting them down. Not trying to save my charges or anything. Just look at this. Just trying to build all the way up. All right, here we go. Boom, boom, bam. Nice and quick. Not three seconds quick, but quick all the same. So let me see. Yeah, that was 18 seconds. Nice. Now, even if his uh, debuffs and everything had taken him down, that's when I could uh, use my immortality. But if you guys remember, if you watch the video, I'm not using Corvus's immortality. Everything that you're seeing me do right now with Corvus he doesn't need to be awakened for. So if you got a seven-star Corvus, rank him up. 
I have not used Corvus's awakened ability yet since I have had him. All right. Now, this fight, I did. Uh, I made a boo boo. And um, I'm always, always forgetting this. So my plan was to go in here, put on, you know, boost up, put on my power back boost, um, my power boost, and just tear him up, okay? Wasn't even trying to let him get to anything that could hurt me, right? So I boosted up. You know, I love the change that they made to the... Uh, Ouchie Mastery, so I'm actually using the uh, health boost now, because why not? Okay, 20% boost, which helps Corvus a lot. The more attack he has, the better it is. And then I put these on, okay? And uh, let's see, that was the power boost. And then I put on nice 200% power back boost and then advanced power boost now i want you to watch this fight see if you can see the mistake that i made so i'm like all right we got this knockdown energy i wanted to make sure it wasn't you know Anything crazy that changed, but it's the same. Even if it was high energy diet, Corvus could still do it. All right. Now watch this. All right. Got my power start one. And I'm just working him. Look at this. Woo! And I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to wait till I get to that special two. And then it's over with. What? Look at it. Oh, no power. What happened? But it's okay. Corvus don't need that. However, the mistake I made is that those power back boosts, the cosmic boosts, do not work against mystics. And I always forget that, always. So it was just a waste of those boosts. But anyway, we got through our path and the mini without any deaths. So we'll be back in a minute and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back and we won this war. It's been a while since we won a war. We've been on a losing streak. This is the first win in like what? Three wars? We had like three straight losses, something like that. And uh, here we go. You can see here. We did pretty decent. But it was close. Look at how close the, the war was. Still close. Shout out to our MVPs there. But yeah, this was a close war. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. If you have any ideas for videos, let me know in the comment section below. Take care, and you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown. Oh.